I will be showing you how to evolve Pokemon like Budu, Rioli, Togepi, Chansey, and many more Pokemon that evolve with high friendship in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So, you might be struggling to evolve certain Pokemon in your Pokemon Brilliant Diamond or Shining Pearl playthrough. Well, I know why. The following Pokemon on screen need a high friendship stat to be able to evolve. Friendship is a hidden in-game stat that improves the more time you spend with a Pokemon in-game. And there are a couple of very easy ways to quickly evolve the Pokemon that need this stat to be high. Let's go through all the options. Number 1. Walking By walking around the Sinnoh region, you increase the friendship of all the Pokemon in your party. Every 128 steps, your Pokemon have a 50% chance to get plus 1 on their friendship stat. So, effectively, by walking around 65,000 steps, you can have any Pokemon from 0 friendship to the max of 255. Keep in mind that most Pokemon start with a base friendship of 50, except for Chansey and Cleffa, who start at 140, and Buneru who starts at 0. The second option is Berries. There are a specific set of berries that you can get by talking to the Berry Master on Route 208 that will increase your friendship. Some of these can also be found in the soil patches in and around Sinnoh, so keep your eyes peeled out for those. Keep in mind that these berries are also used for resetting EVs or effort values. I'll be making another video going more in depth about EV training in BDSP, so if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell to not miss any uploads. Feeding your Pokemon vitamins like Calcium and Carbos can also increase your friendship. These are scattered around the region to be found, or you can buy them for a hefty amount of money in the Veilstone department store. Another way of increasing your friendship is leveling up. By just leveling up your Pokemon, they also increase their friendship stat. This way your Pokemon always gradually improve their happiness. It's that simple. Number 5. Battle Items Using battle items or X items like X Attack, X Defense will also improve your Pokemon's friendship, but only to a certain point. This is the same with teaching a Pokemon ATM. The friendship stat won't go past 200 with this method. Number 6. Get a massage. In Veilstone City, you can talk to the massage girl once a day to get a nice little friendship boost for one Pokemon. There are different ways to improve your friendship, but some of these are just a little too time consuming to actually do them, like winning a contest for example. It just takes too long. A couple extra things to keep in mind is that there are also things that make your friendship stat drop down. For instance, if your Pokemon faints, you lose one friendship point, and if it faints to a Pokemon that is at least 30 levels higher, it can drop by 5 or even 10 points, so watch out for that. Feeding Pokemon bitter items like Energy Powder, Energy Root, or Revival Herb is also not recommended as they can drastically lower your friendship. By the way, if you like this video, you can help me out by giving it a like, it helps spread this video out to more people. Lastly, I have a crucial tip for even faster friendship grinding. If you equip your Pokemon with a Soothe Bell, which is found by talking to a maid in the Pokemon Mansion, you will get a friendship boost of 50% per increase. So if you use a friendship raising berry on a Pokemon that has low friendship while having the Soothe Bell equipped, you gain 15 friendship points instead of 10. That's worth it. Now that you've gotten your friendship up on these Pokemon, just make sure to level them up and they should evolve. Make sure to level up Riolu and Badu during the day for them to evolve, and Chingling needs nighttime to evolve when leveling up. If you're doing a Nuzlocke run with these Pokemon, you can hop into my Discord to talk about your progression. Link in the description. Or you can watch this video where I can give you some great tips on beating your Nuzlocke's.